This time, we'll cover the new Minisynth synthesizer added to FL Studio Mobile 2.3 for iOS. Android will follow later. Access Minisynth from the Instruments tab, Synth category. Unlike the sample-based categories, these are real-time synthesized sounds. Select the Preset tab and open Minisynth with the Edit button, or just double-tap the preset. The additional Minisynth tabs include the Oscillator, the Oscillator Envelope, Filter, Filter Envelope, Low Frequency Oscillator, or LFO, and Effects. The effects include Delay, Chorus, Phaser, and Distortion. Let's have a look at each of these tabs in more detail. Starting with the Oscillator tab and Waveform section, there are a number of oscillator modes. We're currently using the Saw Wave. Use the Preview button while programming to hear the synth. Sliding allows you to change notes. One of the most important oscillator controls is the modifier, as depending on the waveform you have selected, it performs major but different transformations to the oscillator sound. For example, with Square plus Saw, the modifier changes the pitch of the second waveform. While in Super Saw, the modifier detunes each of eight Saw waveforms. Given the number of options here, I'd encourage you to open the Setup tab and tap the question mark button to open the manual and check the oscillator section where the action of the modifier is explained for each waveform setting. After the oscillator, controls are more traditional with transpose and noise. Note that many controls can be double tapped to reset to the default setting. Voice mode. These options control polyphony and play style. Turn up the slide time and select mono for a monophonic or single note playback with slides between every note. Lead mode is similar, but you can control when slides happen by overlapping notes. We'll come back to the mod wheel in a moment. Oscillator envelope. This is a standard ADSR control for the volume dynamics of notes. For example, turning up the attack will fade notes in. Sustain is the level when the note is held, and decay is how long it takes to reach this level. Release is how long the note plays after the note is released. As I have the filter set in this patch, I need to disable it to hear the release fully. And on that point, many controls interact, so keep in mind what's happening on the other tabs if controls don't seem to be responding how you'd expect. And the filter. This is a low pass filter where frequencies below the cutoff point are allowed through. Cutoff is on the horizontal axis and resonance on the vertical axis. A useful performance feature of Minisynth is you can link the accelerometer to the filter. To do this, go to the Setup tab and select Keyboard, then Modulation via Accelerometer. X axis is left to right and Y axis top to bottom in this orientation. Then, on the keyboard, make sure the accelerometer button is enabled. You also need to have some filter setting and an amount. And I got caught there, so to stop the screen rotating, select the Setup tab, then General, and enable Lock Interface Orientation. Filter Envelope. This performs in the same way as the volume ADSR, except this time it modulates the filter cutoff and resonance values. For this to be active, you need to have a filter and or resonance value set. LFO. Low frequency oscillators are designed to automate or modulate other controls on the synth. 
It's exactly the same as when you twist a knob back and forth. You can target the filter, oscillator frequency, or oscillator modifier. Let's start with the filter. Again, you need to have an amount set, and also in this case, a filter active. The rate is tempo sync. Frequency changes the pitch of the oscillator and oscillator modifier. This is really useful for making some advanced sounds. Remember, depending on the waveform chosen, the modifier has a big influence on the sound. For example, for the super saw, the modifier detunes the eight voices. So let's modulate that with the LFO. That's a little fast, and I need to reduce the amount a little also. Effects. The good news is that the effects are in addition to the track effects, starting with the tempo sync delay. Feedback controls the number of echoes, filter how bright the echoes sound, and mix the overall level. Chorus is great for thickening sounds to give them a wider and slightly detuned effect. Phaser, another tempo sync effect. It causes a moving frequency cancellation sound that you will instantly recognise. Slower rate settings are common and sound great through headphones. And finally, distortion. Minisynth has two distortion units. Overdrive is a typical guitar-like overdrive distortion. While Decimator is more a modern digital distortion. And with that, we've covered the basics of Minisynth. Jump in and start experimenting as that's what synthesis is all about, discovery. And once you have a sound you like, tap Save As, name your preset, and it will appear here in the Synths category, under My Mini Synth Presets. Why not hit the Setup tab and Register button, as the FL Studio Mobile Forum is quickly going to fill with user presets to download. Until next time, enjoy FL Studio Mobile and Mini Synth.